Prepping the Yankee Way, Coronavirus Edition. Hey everybody, thank you so much for joining me on my channel, watching this video. I really appreciate it. Prepping the Yankee Way. You know, I wanted to do this video. I feel that it's time for a little refresher. Um, if you haven't checked out my playlist by the same name, please do. It's right down there. Oh, and also subscribe, like, I really appreciate it. So I hope you guys are doing really well out there. I hope your day has been A-OK. -okay. <laughs> Seriously, it's been a trying time. Um, I just wanted to take a pause for this video from stacking and, and that type of thing and just talk about another passion of mine uh, on my channel, and that is prepping. Um, in this video, I'm going to give you some common sense prepping ideas. In other words, what to prep and what not to prep, because that's important too. First, let me say this. Toilet paper aside, <laughs> there's still some time to pick up items you might be lacking. So don't panic. I understand the concern. I really do. It's, it's so disconcerting to see what people are doing, you know, the, 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 the empty shelves uh, on a grocery store. It, that can really, you know, really make people nervous. And my daughter called me up and she's like, Dad, I don't know, do I have enough food to you know, cook for my new husband? It's like, oh, it's okay, it's all right. We'll help you out if you need it, but you're fine. Hey, you're gonna be able to get the food most likely, so don't panic. Um, you know, but, but when you see people react the way they are, it, it is a symptom of fear. And, and even broken trust. So let's take a 30,000 foot view, all right? Despite what the markets are doing, and they're going crazy, and, and what gold and silver are doing, yeah, they're, they're pretty shook right about now. And, and besides what people are doing in the supermarket, this is not the end of the world. Don't panic. That said, if this virus keeps spreading and we, we don't take it seriously, there's a chance that everyone's going to come into contact with uh, COVID-19 eventually. So the longer we postpone getting it, the better. The longer the delay, the more doctors will know how to make serious cases less lethal. So that's why it's so important to follow uh, the instructions that we've been hearing about. Within, within a few weeks, there actually may be an idea of what drugs really help. In a year, there might be a vaccine. What's more, the, the slower the virus spreads overall, the less acute its effect on society will be. I'm actually more scared about the reaction to this virus. So, so the bottom line is, slow the spread by some time. That's what it's about. That's why we're hearing uh, from our government. Um, just, just recently, Trump's um, uh, press conference today. Reduce travel. Stay out of areas with 10 or more people, I think he said. Avoid restaurants and bars. Uh, that that's hard, but that's what they're asking voluntarily to do. Parents, skip the play dates for a while. Teens, postpone the parties just, just for a bit. Let's all do our part. Not as Republicans or Democrats, not as conservative or liberals, not as millennials, not as Gen Xers, not as baby boomers, but as Americans. It's time to come together, folks, just like we did it during 9-11. I remember that. That was amazing. All right, you, you, if you watched the uh, press conference, you heard that the virus might linger until July or August. <laughs> That's disheartening to hear that. So you need to focus on what to do right now. And that's what I want to talk about is what to prep and what not to prep. Let's start with the don'ts, okay? I mean, usually it's what do you do, what you don't. I'm going to start with the don'ts because this is this is big. First of all, I said don't panic. That That's right, don't panic, all right? Uh, and I've talked about why not to panic 
stack your silver, you don't want to panic buy either. Uh, and it's for yourself and for others, okay? Good judgment is in short supply when you panic. So you want to think clearly. You want to, you want to discuss your purchases with someone else. You want to be prudent. I, I, I talked to Mrs. Yankee. What should we get? She said, well, I'm... How about a little bit more soap? So I'm like, yeah. But before we get into the do's, let's let's talk about the don't. Don't buy stuff you won't eat or use. I mean, this is almost a no-brainer. If you just hoard up a big pile of crap, you're not helping anybody. And I've, I've seen this in grocery store. People are just hoarding produce. Lettuce. Are you kidding me? That's going to go bad in a, in a short period of time. Don't do that. That is nuts. You know, a lot of people who freaked out over the SARS virus still have a bunch of crap stored in their basements and garages that is completely a waste of space and money. So don't do that. Get only what you really need and can use. Here's another one. Don't buy expensive preps. Especially, especially food preps, okay? I got these years ago, okay? I have a whole cabinet full of this stuff, and it's good to have, but now, no. The demand is high. Supplies are dwindling, and that translates into expensive prepping. You don't want to be doing that, all right? So stay away from this stuff for now. Wait, when we get past this, you want to be buying that stuff, but not now. Oh, also... If you can even get them, don't buy masks. This is an N95 mask. Come on. I mean, I, I bought this five years ago, okay? I, I have masks, but not now. Frankly, you know, if the coronavirus spikes in a, in a major U.S. city, the most important people to protect will be our healthcare workers. They're the ones who need all the masks and respirators they can get. Not you, not me, all right? So yeah, I, I know it's really hard to even find these things, but if you can, don't. Just engage in social distancing. You won't need a mask. See, a lot of what I'm talking about here isn't really prepping at all. It's panic hoarding. Prepping is about preparing, pre Preparing pre ahead of time before before the emergency, not while the emergency is going on. So you don't want to create a shortage of supplies because you now suddenly need eight boxes of N95 masks or, or five thousand rolls of toilet paper for your personal use. No, that's not prepping. I think for a variety of factors, this isn't going to be. Uh, uh, a massive, massive death toll across the world. I mean, you're talking low mor uh, mortality rate for children and young people. You're you're talking very high recover re uh, recoverability rate for healthy people, and the and the actions that that we have made in the past weeks and even now, the social distancing that's huge. Okay, we've learned some lessons, or we're relearning some lessons, I should say, from the Spanish flu in 1918. So we really uh, are are coming a long way, I think, in in curtailing this or at least uh, causing it to plateau. So just one more thing, one more thing, not to stockpile right now. You may be surprised at this one. Gasoline. Now, again, Yankee does store a bunch of gasoline. I do have a, a, a prep for gasoline in my generator, but I don't think that's something we should be running out and grabbing right now. Why? Well, think about it. The usage is way down. I'm stuck at home working from home. Everybody is home, right? I mean, not everybody, but the preponderance of our nation is hunkered down. We're not traveling we're not using gas. So I really think you don't need to worry about gas shortages right now. I could change, but at this point, I would suggest not stockpiling gas. All right, so that's the what not to uh, stockpile. Now, what should you be prudently adding to your pantry, if you will, in a, a responsible way? Well, the, one of the first things is 
toiletries. Yes, we need toiletries. But, you know, there are other avenues for essential stuff, right? Parents of little ones. How about Googling how to make and use cloth diapers? Whoa. Okay, now, that's probably easy. You, you might say, well, that's easy for you to say, Yankee. You don't have any babies. But wouldn't that be a, an interesting way to uh, maybe reduce your reliance on disposable diapers? I'm just saying, okay? <laughs> guys, I'll, I'll talk about the guys. You, you, who uses a safety razor? You do? Well, I use uh, an electric razor. It lasts longer easier to use. If you don't like electric and you want to keep using your safety blade, just go a little longer on each blade or maybe grow a beard. <laughs> That's an option, right? <laughs> Ladies, oh, um, this is a good one. Check this out. Yeah, it's a diva cut. <laughs> My daughter saw this as a prep of mine like years ago okay and now she swears by him that's all she'll use and she she really does prefer it so yeah uh, okay anyway <laughs> that's something you might want to check into uh my other daughter is actually saying you know i, I want to try that too dad i'm like yeah whatever <laughs> um oh and let's talk about toilet paper shall we now it's probably going to be hard to get a bunch of toilet paper where you live by now unless maybe if you follow silver dragon's recent video i'll, I'll stick that right up in there it's a it's a good one you got to check it out after you finish this one um but but how about if we think out of the box here i bought this several years ago <laughs> i can fit it on here it's a pump sprayer a garden pump sprayer okay and it's got, <laughs> yeah, 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 I know what, you, uh, what you're thinking. This is, this is when it gets a little squirrely. Here's the wand, right? Yeah, you pump it up, put nice warm water in here. Pump, 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 and look, you got yourself a bidet. I mean, really. Eventually, if we really did have uh, a catastrophe in our nation, you're going to run out of toilet paper at some point. I don't care how much you stockpile. So you need to think about other ways that you can keep yourself clean. This actually works. So, you know, the Europeans use it. <laughs> Why not, right? <laughs> you should have seen my daughter when I showed it to her. She was like, you're going to do what with that, Dad? <laughs> Try it before you knock it, okay? It works. <laughs> I'm not going to demonstrate it, though. You'll have to try it yourself. And that's really not that expensive to pick up. People aren't hoarding garden sprayers. So you can definitely feel comfortable going to get one. So let's talk about some other items to responsibly purchase. Hopefully you have a freezer, but maybe not. Uh, get a cooler. That's a good thing to do. Throw some ice in there, and that will help keep some of your more perishable foods longer. Uh, mm, vitamins, all right? Um, sometimes it's hard to get all the nutrition you need in the course of uh, a day when, when food's limited or you might not have all the food that you normally eat on a given week. Make sure you've got a good multi. That helps fill some of those gaps. And food. So, okay, <laughs> I like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I like soup. Go for the canned foods, okay? This is the important stuff. Even tuna is a good one to pick up. Don't run down the aisle with your arm out filling your grocery cart to the brim, okay? That, that's, just, that's just wrong, all right? But just buy a few weeks worth of canned goods. I've mentioned this before on uh, the prior video, what to do. Uh, three things to do right now uh, this week. The canned foods was one of them. I hope you followed that advice. Try to have about a month of food, four weeks worth of shelf-stable food available for you. I mean, that's just a prudent thing to do. And you, and you don't have to, you know, go down the bread aisle and, and grab every loaf, all right? Canned goods are great. Um, let's talk about supplies, okay? So, yes, I... This is Yankee said, I think I'm going to get a few more bars of soap. Not a bad idea. Obviously, you know, uh, antibacterial uh, hand cleanser, very important. I like to have all kinds of medicines, 
and first aid paraphernalia that really helps you through a crisis. So, you know, alcohol, rubbing alcohol, this kind of alcohol, <laughs> uh, and then so pain relief. So ibuprofen, Tylenol, that type of thing. It's important to have this stuff on hand regardless of what we're going through. This is a good time to pick up a few things in the grocery store. So, you know, think about that the next time you go in. There should be a lot of this stuff still on the shelves. Let me know in the comments if you have not seen, you know, you know, barring vitamins. I'm sure you can buy vitamins too, but canned goods and this type of supply. Tell me in the comments if you see this vanishing from the grocery shelves. And remember too, even if it does vanish for a short period of time, give it a day, give it a few days. Most likely you're going to see those uh, items back on the shelf. Well, there you have it. Prepping the Yankee Way Coronavirus Edition. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure to help people out during this time. And don't panic. We're all Americans. We're going to make it through this. We're going to be stronger after this is over. And as always, I hope your day is A-OK. -okay.